bright duty every student matters hello students let us continue the chapter mensuration so in the previous uh, lecture we have discussed about how to find out areas and perimeters of plane figures now we are going to discuss about area of trapezium if a trapezium is given to us how do we find the area so we are going to now deduce a formula for area of trapezium okay just to see here suppose there is one girl nazma and her house is alongside the road like this so this is her house okay it is alongside the road now suppose we have to find the area of her house right so can you just directly by looking on this picture can you find out the area definitely we cannot because we don't have a formula for such figure right so what we are going to do is what we did we have named the points as a b c like right what we did from here we have joined this and from here we joined this point or let us do it properly so what we have done is we have joined these two points also so you can see this in figure you can see this e and d are joined so suppose this is e point and this is d point so they are been joined okay now we can find out the area right so her house is in this shape now and as you can as you can see this is a trapezium we have already learned what a trapezium is so it's a quadrilateral right having ae and bd as the parallel sides one of the uh, pair of sides is parallel so uh, uh, we have done ec ec is a perpendicular okay to this side bd now suppose this is 20 meter it is given to us in the question uh, it is 20 meter in the example and this is 12 meter okay now if this is 20 and this total is 30 so this much will be 20 and the rest part is 10 right now we have divided into two segments okay so what we are considering 20 meter we are keeping it as a in terms of variable if we so we'll do one example and at the end we will put the variables a b and c so that we get a general formula for all the trapeziums not for a particular one so uh, 20 meter is a this 30 meter is b and this 10 meter is c and this 12 meter is h now we can find out area of this right so we see there is one rectangle we see there is one triangle right so if i find area of a b c e a b c e just to see a b is 12 and the another side is 20 so this is also 12 and this is 20 right so this is what a rectangle so can we find the area yes we can find the area it will be length into breadth that is 12 into 20 square meter and that gives us 240 square meter clear also in terms of variable if i have to write this area is going to be how much just see instead of the length that is 20 we can write it as uh, a a into what is uh, the breadth that is ab and it is represented by h here so we are writing here h a into h also we can call it so let us name it as first equation now we will find area of the triangle okay here it was a rectangle and area of the triangle ecd ecd it will be half into base into height what is the base here just see of the triangle the base is 12 right or the height is 12 the base is dc so base is dc dc into height is 12 that is a perpendicular so it is ec so we will write half into 10 into 12 25s are 10 12 5s are 60 square meter right or in form of variables if i write i'll write half into what is dc represented as it is by c so here it is c and ec is represented ec is 12 it is equal to ab that is h so half into c into h and that is 60 square meter now if we add the area of this rectangle and the area of this triangle can we find the total area yes definitely so just see here if you add both of them 240 plus 60 square meter so we will get 300 square meter and this is the area of what a b d e so this is area of a b d e 
right so we have calculated the area of trapezium so this is what a numerical value of it now we are going to find out a general formula right so let's do it so i will write area of trapezium a b d and e it will be area of the rectangle plus area of the triangle which is the rectangle here you see we have the rectangle a b c d so we'll name it uh, we have the rectangle not a b c d we have a b c e it is a b c e right it is a b c e not a b c d okay now uh, the rectangle area is in terms of variable if i write it is a into h so i'll put this a into h plus area of triangle is half into just see what we calculated c into h so we'll put this c into h so just see uh, h is common okay and to take half common i will multiply this with half also i will divide it with half so taking h upon 2 common what we are left with we are left with 2a here 2a plus c now we can write it as half into h into 2a can be written as a plus a plus c okay now let us see what is a plus c so this a plus c forms bc you getting this is a 20 meter and this is c that is 10 so a plus c is forming this complete bd so just to see half into h into this a plus c will be replaced by this bd as you can see in the figure by bd we are replacing it now a a is how much it is 20 meter right and this is also 20 meter so instead of a can we write ae yes we can write so i'll write here ae ae plus bd now h is what the height so we are writing half into height into the sum of parallel sides sum of parallel sides and just to see in the diagram ae and bd are the two parallel sides of the trapezium so in case when you have a trapezium and you are asked to find out the area of the trapezium what we are going to do we are going to apply the formula half into the height that we are going to drop out okay height of the trapezium multiplied with height is what the distance between the two parallel lines the two parallel sides okay height into and we are going to add the parallel side this is going to give us the uh, area of the trapezium right so whenever there is one trapezium and we have to find out the area of the trapezium so we are going to apply this formula so you need to remember this half into h into sum of parallel sides right most of the books it is written like this half into sum of parallel sides sum of parallel sides multiplied with height so like this also in most of the books it is written right so learn it and this is what uh, this is what the concept we are going to apply in the next uh, coming up concepts okay okay so just see here here what is given there is asking nazma sister also has a trapezium shaped plot so that was regarding nazma that we all discussed now nazma sister is also uh, having a plot and that is of trapezium shape now divide it into three parts as shown so we have to divide it into three parts just to see two uh, gray parts we have and one uh, this white colored part we have so we have to show that area of trapezium w x y z you can see this trapezium here is equal to h into that is half upon 2 and a plus b a is just to see a is what this complete wx so one parallel side and the another parallel side is zy that is b so we have to prove the formula here how can we do that if you see these two triangles have the same height this one this is equal to this right now this is c this is given as d so we, how we can find out the area of this figure we can find out the area of these two triangles we can find out the area of this portion that is b here b here h here h here so we can find out the area of this rectangle in between and can add them and let us see that we get this or not can we apply this direct formula so just to see area 
of let us find for both the triangles first area of triangle so let us name it as m and let us name it as n okay so area of w m z w m z area of this triangle will be half into what is the base here c and height is h it is mentioned here this is a height it is h it is also h okay now area of triangle what is the another triangle it is x n y x n y what is the area of this half into what is the base in this case it is d into height is same as h now about this rectangle if we took m n y z so we'll write area of rectangle m n y z it will be equal to length into breadth what is length b what is breadth h so it will be b into h right now if you want to take a half common what i will do is i'll multiply this by half and just in case i'll write 2 so that it is balanced now so it is it can be written as half into 2b into h like this okay now just see what we are going to do we are going to add all of them to find the area of this trapezium so we will write area of trapezium W X Y Z is equal to half into C into H plus half into D into H plus half into two B into H. All right? Okay. So half and H are common. So what we are left with C plus D plus two B. Two B. I am writing as B plus B. That is two B. Clear? So just see C plus D plus B. This C. Plus B plus D. If we add all the all of these three, what we get? We get A. So we can write half into H into instead of these three. The sum of these three is giving us A. Plus we are left with B. So we can write it as H A plus B upon two. So yes, when we are doing it by dividing it into certain figures like triangles and rectangles, at the end we are getting the same formula. So whenever we are given questions of trapezium, we don't have to find the area of triangles. We don't have to find the area of the rectangle in between. We can just apply this formula, and it is going to give us the same answer. Right. So, what is the formula? Half into height into sum of parallel sides. Just to see, Z Y and W X. That is B and A. These two are the parallel side of the trapezium. Clear? Okay. So, this is done now. The next question is related to the same figure, the same question. It says, if the value of H is ten, the value of C is six, the value of B is twelve centimeter. The value of D is four centimeter. Find the values of each of its parts separately and add to find the areas W, X, Y, Z. So first of all, we have to find the area using the separate separate parts, and then we have to apply this formula and verify that are we getting the same answer or not. Right? Verification is really important. So just see. First of all, we had area of the triangle WMZ. So I will write area of triangle. W M Z is twos half into C into H. Let us put the value of C and H. Half into what is the value of C given? It is six. And H is how much? H is ten. Right? Two ones are two. Two threes are six. So we get thirty square centimeter. Now area of the another triangle. What was the another triangle? It was X and Y. Right? It was. X and Y half into D into H half into what is the value of D? It is four and height is ten. Two twos are four. That means we get twenty square centimeter. Then we will find the area of the rectangle. Just to see what was the name of rectangle. The name of rectangle was M N Y Z, right? And the area was B into H. Right, this or you can just solve it. It is going to give the same answer because see, two and two will get cancelled. Right, so M N Y Z we will write area of this rectangle M N Y Z is equal to. So just to see, 
for this rectangle B and H, two dimensions we have to use. So we will write B into H. Okay, B is given as how much? 12. And H is given as how much? 10. So we get 120 square centimeter. So if we add, we'll get area of the trapezium W, X, Y, Z. Let us add all of them. We have 30 square centimeter plus 20 square centimeter plus 120 square centimeter. So how much we get? 30 plus 20 is 50 and 50 plus 120 we get 170 square centimeter. Now let us apply the formula according to this area of uh, the trapezium. It is the trapezium. Okay, so area of trapezium W, X, Y, Z using the formula H into A plus B upon 2. So what is H? It is 10 into what is A given to us? Just to see, are we given A? Can we calculate A? We have been given H, we have been given C, we have been given B and we have been given D. So we know that A is given by just to see. A is the summation of this complete is A. And this is C plus B plus D. So we will write instead of A, C plus B plus D plus B divided by 2. So we will get 10 into C is how much? 6. B is how much? 12. Plus D is how much? 4. Plus B is 12. Whole divided by 2. So we will get 2. 5 are 10. So we get 5 into 12 and uh, just say 12 and 12, 24. 24 plus 6 is 30 into 34. So you have to multiply 5 fours are 20. 2 is the carry. 5 threes are 15 and 2 17. 170 square centimeter. So are we getting the same answer? Is the result verified? Yes. When we calculate the area separately of all the parts and add them, we get 170 square centimeter. Also using the formula, we are getting the area as same that we calculated earlier it is same as 170 square centimeter so yes the formula is verified for this trapezium so i hope the concept of or the formula for how to find out the area of trapezium is clear to you now we will practice questions also right so just see here now here is find the area of the following trapezium now i know the parallel sides are 9 and 7 and the height is given as 3 so i know area of the trapezium we can name it as a b c d so i'll write area of trapezium a b c d is equal to h upon 2 into a plus b h is the height that is 3 upon 2 into a is the side the two parallel sides that is 9 and 7 so 9 plus 7 so just see 3 upon 2 into 9 plus 7 is 16 2 8 are 16 3 8 are 24 so the area is 24 square centimeter similarly in the next one we have area of trapezium uh, let us name it as A dash, uh, B dash, C dash, D dash. So we will write area of trapezium A dash, B dash, C dash and D. Just to make a difference, I am writing it. Okay, the same formula we will be using. What is the height in this case? It is 6 divided by 2 into A plus B. A is 10, B is 5. So we get 6 upon 2, that is 2 3s are 6 into 15. So 15 3s are is 45 square centimeter so this is the area for the second trapezium right so just by using the same formula just one formula we can find out the figure area that is a trapezium we don't have to divide it into triangles and then find it because we have already verified when we will use that one that is a lengthy method instead of that we can use this formula to minimize the calculation and to make the answer uh, we can get the answers quickly okay now we are going to find out area of general quadrilateral. So this is a quadrilateral and it is dividing it into two triangles. The diagonal AC is dividing this quadrilateral into two triangles. Okay. So what will be the area of the triangle? Just to see. So if I find area of triangle, 
ADC it will be half into base is AC and height is H2 and another one area of triangle what is the another triangle ABC ABC it is half into base is again AC into height is H1 right so how can we find area of this quadrilateral area of a b c d will be the addition of these two half into a c into h2 plus half into a c into h1 so half a c that means a c by 2 is common we are left with h1 plus h2 so if we have a quadrilateral we can find its area by using this formula both the triangle height we can use if given and this can be calculated is that clear now here is a question that is asking you to find the area of this pqrs okay so area of quadrilateral pqrs will be given by just the two triangles we can see so we will write area of triangle the first is pqs PQS plus area of triangle what is the another triangle that is QRS okay QRS so both the areas if we add we get the area of this quadrilateral half into base is what QS into height height is just to see this is height 1.5 so let us just directly put the values so I'll just write instead of QS also the value of QS are we given QS value yes it is 5.5 into then height is 1.5 plus area of the triangle QRS the upper one it is half into 5.5 into just see height is 2.5 now and we know the formula of this we just calculated it in the previous one that the diagonal we have to take 5.5 upon 2 into 1.5 plus 2.5 right so 5.5 upon 2 multiplied with 1.5 plus 2.5 gives us how much just to see 1 and 2 is 3 point point, point 0.5 and point 0.5 makes it 4 so 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 so we'll get 2 fives are 10 2 fives are 10 and 1 11 11.0 11 square centimeter so 11 square centimeter is the area of this quadrilateral pqrs clear so what we have used the diagonal that is qs upon 2 into height h1 and h2 so this concept is used to find out the area of quadrilateral right now here is one more question given it is saying we know that parallelogram is also a quadrilateral yes it is let us also split such a quadrilateral into two triangles find their areas and hence that of a parallelogram does this agree with the formula that you know already so we have done already one formula and this is a parallelogram so opposite sides are going to be equal now if you see this triangle and this triangle of the first triangle if I say what will be the area half into B into H of the second one the area will be half into B into H the height is going to be same the base bases are going to be same because the bases are opposite right height definitely between these two parallel lines if we draw a perpendicular line at every point it is going to be same right if we have two parallel lines and we keep on drawing the heights this distance is always the same right so here h is going to be same if we add them half into b plus h plus half into b into h is half into b into h uh, okay so when we add them we get b into h that is base into height so yes we have calculated the formula and is it equal uh, is it the same formula that we know so what we were doing is we were taking the base as this diagonal right here we are taking the base as the side so it is not the same right yes we are taking the heights height is also going to be same in that case in the previous case the height was different so for this the formula is b into s just multiply the base and the height of the parallelogram we are going to get the area of the parallelogram clear now okay see here area of special quadrilaterals now we are going to do so here a b c d is a quadrilateral that is given to us okay so this is a rhombus okay and the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other so AO and OC are equal DO and OB are equal so if we take this as height 
ओके सो जस्ट सी दिस बोथ आर द हाइट्स दे इंटरसेक्ट एट 90 डिग्रीज सो इफ आई फाइंड एरिया ऑफ ट्रायंगल ए बी सी इट इज गोइंग टू बी हाफ इनटू बेस इज ए सी इनटू हाइट इज ओ बी इन दिस केस लेट इट बी फर्स्ट इक्वेशन देन एरिया ऑफ ट्रायंगल ए डी सी इन ए डी सी डू यू सी द बेस इज व्हाट बेस इज अगेन ए सी एंड हाइट इज ओ डी राइट OD is the height. Let it be second equation. Now we will write area of rhombus ABCD. Now we are going to add both the equations: half into AC into OB plus half into AC into OD. So half and AC is common, and OB plus OD we get. So half into AC into just see OB and OD. If you add them, it forms BD. So Half into the product of diagonals, you get D1 and D2 are the two diagonals. AC is one diagonal, BD is another diagonal. So what we have done, we have deduced a formula for area of rhombus. How to find it? If we are given the diagonals, we don't require the sides. Just do half into the product of its diagonals. Clear? So we are going to practice one question on it. Just see here. We have to find the area of rhombus whose diagonals are of lengths 10 cm and 8.2 cm. So, area of rhombus is equal to half into the product of the diagonal. So, we know that D1 is 10 cm and D2 is 8.2 cm. So, let us solve it. Half into D1 is 10 into D2 is 8.2 square centimeter, so 2 fives are 10. Now 5 twos are 10, and 5 eights are 40, and 141, 41.0 square centimeter. So area of the rhombus whose two diagonals are of the lengths 10 centimeter and 8.2 centimeter is equal to 41. is that clear so we have calculated area of rhombus using the same formula that we deduced here right now here is one question it says a parallelogram is divided into two congruent triangle by drawing a diagonal yes that is true just to see if we have a parallelogram Right, and I draw a diagonal. Suppose it is A, B, C, and D. So this side is common. This is equal to this, okay, and this is equal to this. So yes, they are both two congruent triangle by SSS congruence. Can we divide a trapezium into two congruent triangle? So just see, this is a trapezium. Okay. Now suppose if I join these two, let it be A, B, C. D. So yes, this is common. Are the sides equal? No. So we cannot divide it into two congruent triangles. But they are parallel as we see. So just see this one will be equal to this because these two lines are parallel, and this is going to be equal to this, right? So yes, it is possible that we draw it into two congruent. triangles because the angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 is common and this is going to be same all right okay now one more thing just look at these questions here they are asking find the area of these quadrilaterals so there is a quadrilateral given a b c d and we have to find the area of the first one so just the area of the first one will be area of the triangle a d c plus area of triangle A B C. So applying the formula, half into just see the diagonal is C six uh, only, and it is the same base. So what we will do, half into base into height. So what we have learned for that, we have learned that the diagonal we have to write. So diagonal is six here, six upon two into the height sum that is three plus five. So two threes are six into three plus five is eight. So six eighths are forty eight square centimeter. This will be the area of the first one. Now in the second one, we see that this is a rhombus because all the sides are equal, right? So then area will be half into the product of diagonals. That is two threes are six and seven threes are twenty one square centimeter. We are going to get in the third one when you observe. 
This is a parallelogram. See, lines are parallel and opposite sides are equal. And so the diagonal divides it into two congruent triangles. So we can find out area of one and can multiply it with two. So for one, it is half into base into height. So what we can do is base into height only can be applied, right? So what is the base here? Just see, uh, it is eight. and the height we see of it is 2 so actually what we are doing is half into base into height but we are doing it two times so we get it as 16 right so we get it as 16 square cm as the area this opposite sides are equal and these are equal but the height on one diagonal is given right so like this we are going to find it out so is this clear okay so what we have discussed we have discussed about rhombus parallelogram the rectangle the triangle and most important the trapezium we have deduced the formulas for area of rectangle area of parallelogram and area of quadrilaterals then we have discussed the most important thing is area of trapezium right so you need to remember these formulas uh, so that we can have a good practice of question in the next lecture i will be coming up with area of poly areas of polygons okay and that is going to be quite interesting so stay tuned for more videos like this thank you